Hello, hi, hey, it's your good friend J. Scott Jewel, playing more Factorio. I uh, really want to get going on the railway to solve our iron shortage problems. So, to do that, we need to take this stone all the way to the end of the bus. Which, we're already a good chunk of the way there, I think. Are you empty? No. No, you're just waiting. Okay. All right, stone coming on down to the end of the bus. There's our stone brick and then stone directly underneath it. Okay, so for the railway, we are going to need stone, iron sticks, and steel plate. And that's true for both types. So we will need iron and steel, I think, on one line, or should I do uh, stone and steel? Stone and steel on one line. So there's our stone cutting through itself. And then, I forgot it needs to join up with the steel here. Let's see, so steel is going there. Then the stone comes up there, and then they both go up there. Make sure all my lines get through okay, and they sure do. And then the other one I need is just a simple iron line, so... There we go. We've got stone, we've got steel, we've got iron. Uh, now I just need to turn the iron into... Uh, some sticks which are under the intermediate products. And how do I want to do it? Because essentially I want to end this line, this iron line, I want to end it right here, if I can, if I can get away with it. Uh, I need more inserters, which I have built. That's a lovely feeling, just knowing that you already have all the inserters you're going to need. Just ready to go. That's great. Um, let's see, I can't necessarily do that, but if I end that there, I could have those go out to a line there, or, or... So if I power all of this up, then... Yeah, we're making plenty of sticks. Okay, so then over here... We can have... The rail. I have straight rail up top. Uh, actually, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Let's do curved rail at the top. Straight rail at the bottom. That way, the straight rail can... You know, we know the straight rail is going to get done. Without the curved rail necessarily hogging up all the resources. Okay. Oh, right. And then we want to limit these to, uh, well, one stack on the curved rail, because you generally don't need a ton of that at a time. And then I'll go up to a full four stacks on the straight rail, because you do end up needing that stuff 
quite a bit. And I still haven't done a whole lot with trying to make any of these uh, designs, you know, expandable outside of, you know, having the lines going all the way up. Because right now I'm just kind of showing the game. I don't really want to get into, you know, mega factories or anything like that. I just kind of want to keep it casual. Take my time, have a good time, you know. Um, but there are definitely some layouts that can just extend for infinity upward. Ooh, chunk of iron. I should start tapping into that. But, you know, I just want to get the stuff I need and move on. So there's going to be a lot of goofy layouts. Uh, oh, right. Right, right, right. Uh, they are going to need at least one long inserter each to really get going on anything. And I think these lines should be more than capable of supplying these. Yeah, actually, at this point, we're just having an issue with, uh... With sticks bringing them in fast enough. Let's see if we swap that inserter out for one of, another one of those. Okay, it's still not great. Line out here. And then I really need to put these on my quick belt somewhere. Okay, can I get away with just one? Looks like it. Looks good. Okay. So it's really kind of a two and two scenario on that one. On this one, I'm sure it's just going to be a nightmare. Uh, just because of how crazy the requirements are uh, to fill up one of these guys. Because it's like four times what the other one needed. What is this one waiting on? Anything? Oh, it's full! Okay, well, I'll take the first shipment then. Okay, so we got plenty of sticks. And it looks like it's just steel and stone coming in that are having the actual issue. So, if I take out one of these, put in one of these guys down here for the sticks, then we should be able to get this done with a couple more fast inserters. Okay, so now sticks are a holdup. That's the trouble with the long-handed inserter builds. They, uh... The longhanders are a little bit slower than the fast inserters. So you end up needing more of them to get the throughput you're looking for. Uh, looks like we're also full on these. Uh, the other thing we're going to need is a locomotive. So we're going to need engines, which I believe I have built somewhere. Yes, yes. Oh gosh, okay. Circuits and steel. Oh my gosh. I definitely need to expand my steel. That's crazy. Yes, we're going to need steel for the cargo wagons as well. So, take a little break from uh, building factories to get some more iron onto the line here. And then expand out our steel smelting efforts as well. Nope. I know, I didn't put any gas in it. Alright. Sure the biters have... Oh, nice parking job, self. Good job. Oh, 
No, no, that's not the right direction. I'm gonna take out of there, put it into there. Should really clean out my inventory again sometime too. So that's full. Let's drive back up. Good enough. And ferrying iron. There we go. So, for clearing out my inventory, put this guy to some use. Uh, do I have anywhere where I'm using up wood? No, not using. Do I have some in storage? Uh, the coal I should probably put into some kind of feed to get it back on the line. Same with this, actually. Ah, there's a lot of stuff I gotta clean up down here. Okay, so, coal. Lovely, lovely coal. Let's just drop down. Oh! I think I already have something like that. Goodness. Okay. Uh, let's drop a chest. So much coal, I still want a couple of stacks just for if I'm driving around or something, but uh... There we go, that can feed in there. And then hopefully I can pick this up. And just drop everything back into there. Okay. So that'll hopefully save some pressures on the miners, at least for a little bit. And how do I have so much coal in my inventory still? I must have accidentally took some stacks I wasn't needing. So I want to have basically three stacks. Seems like a good amount. And this guy is empty. Another empty one here. Okay. Oh my, okay, well, yeah, these should definitely be steel furnaces for one thing. And then for another, we need a great deal more of them. So let's just double our capacity real quick. Just a real quick Dublin. Not the city, though. Doubling. Doubling. No. Yes. Get the feeder belts. Get the... Do I have any regular inserters? On me. Yes. Whole heap. Really gotta organize my tool belt. Someday. Not today. I'm too busy today. And drop it in, drop it in, drop it in, and feed the materials in. Oh, they're still coming down. Good job, self. You did it. Hmm. Okay, got power placed. Those will all start feeding in steel. And then, I think I'm actually going to try to get a load of iron in before the previous one runs out. Because steel, especially in Vanilla Factorio with no mods, uh, takes up a lot, a lot of iron ore. Uh, 
so. Oh, this car is still full. Car, why are you so full? Car, why did I crash you into another car? What's happening? I'm very confused. Did I never unload this when I drove it up last time? I didn't, like, hallucinate all that iron, did I? Oh, okay. Well, great. Now, let's get another load. Did I just fill it quicker because I'm transferring more through my inventory? Maybe? Yeah, because now I can take all of that. Oh, jeez. Wow! I nearly took that out. I wonder, actually, what the, uh... Like, if it's costing me more to repair damage than it would be to just build a new thing. You know, like, a new power pole costs so much, and each point of damage costs so much in terms of, you know, a fraction of a repair pack or whatever. wonder if anybody's run those numbers. Hope so. I have faith in the internet. I don't actually need this car. At the moment. And while we're down here, let's upgrade these as well. Got another upgrade done. Hmm. Oh, right, that just unlocks the, uh, let's do rail signals. Since we're getting ready to do trains, we might as well have all the upgrades for them available. There we go, we got some steel flowing through. That's not bad. And we got gear production ramping back up again. We got stuff happening. Okay, so I need both iron and steel to make cargo wagons. So there's my iron. Definitely don't need this much copper. Okay. Do I have enough to make... Well, I have enough engines. I just need more steel. Give me the steel. Oh, pretty close. Just need, like, three more... bits. Okay. So the secondary question is, where do I want all of... Let's see what that would be like. So just to play pretend, let's lay out some rail. And then this is going to have to go up and around somewhere. Let's put it right out to the edge of the lake for no reason at all. And then this this will be where trains come in and turn around to leave. Although, although, I'm just realizing now because I'm a silly goose. If we do a double-headed train, I don't need a big curve for it to turn around in. So basically we can do... You can do engine, wagon, wagon, and I actually want another wagon if I can get it. Gotta get more steel. So let's 
starting to back up yet? Oh, good. That means I can run down to the end of the bus and steal it. Steal it from my own factory. Ha ha ha. Really gotta drop some of this iron back off in the smelters. This is silly. Um, cargo wagon. Ooh. And actually, we will have to continue the rail efforts in the next episode. So this has been Factorio. I've been J. Schedule, and I am signing off. All right, bye-bye.